All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh. All right, which means He to be. All right, Bahasham, which means in the name, Ba in Ha the Shum name. All right, Yahawashai, He Savior, or He Deliver, and that's the name of the only begotten Son. All right. Bahasham in the name, Racha Kodash, which is Spirit Holy of the Holy Spirit. All right, all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. All right, double honors unto my elder apostles and elder bishops at Great Millstone. All right, peace and blessings unto the 144,000 elect men, the governing body of the nation of Israel. The 12,000 men from each tribe, all right, as well as the one third of the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of men, women, and children, all right. This is the brother Atazaria from the GMS Houston camp, and I'm going to get right into this lesson, all right. And uh, the title of this uh, reel, all right, which is on young, black, and wealthy, and I think they got this from the uh, African diaspora. With the guy Phil, if I'm not mistaken, because I, I see the little purple uh, Africa uh, watermark when I click up on the uh, video. So I think they got it from them. The That's the original source where they got it from. But nonetheless, let me read the title. It says, the uh, small hat government official says black youth are a major problem for the small hats. Okay. And yes, I'm talking in code, but if you can read, you'll know who I'm talking about. All right. The small hats, the Amalekites. Okay. The fake, the, 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 the fakes. All right. With the little black hat and the, the candy curls coming on side their heads. The wannabes. All right. A bunch of wannabes. All right. But let me play this. All right. And see what this uh major problem is all right from this uh, uh as uh stated by this small hat government official okay so let's play this take a look at this very brief clip of an israeli consul official making what appears to be some very disturbing dangerous and damaging statements about black American youth in particular. Watch this. The problem with Israel is with the young generation of the black community. Black life matter starts there. So just to give a little bit of context to, context to what you're hearing, you're listening to Judith Varney Shore, an Israeli consul general in Atlanta. And she says, quote, the major problem with Israel is the young generation of black, of the black community. I'm going to say that again. How are our friends and allies in Israel saying their consul? This is a government official. Why would she say, quote, the major problem with Israel is with the young generation of black, of the black community? What in the world is really going on? This is footage leaked from a censored um, on some interesting ties between them and the United States. And I want you to take now, this very I do want to uh, pull this up. All right. And I want to read what uh, the channel. I guess whoever's uh, running this channel or the people that's running this channel, what they commented, it says, are they a threat because they know your real identity and they know they are real Jews? You can't deceive them. So they are a major problem. No wonder why y'all finance music that is detrimental to black youth. You can't deceive them. So the plan is to destroy them. Okay, makes sense to me, you know, and we do know who's in control of the music industry. And it's not just that, but since that's what they brought up, 
And Jake is heavy into music because our people are they our people are heavy into music. Okay? We make music. Like we make music come to life. Okay? Not so much now, because as the scripture says, the daughters of music shall be brought low. Okay? So there's a lot of garbage out. And this is what they mean by detrimental music. Okay? Your drill, your 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 rap, your trap, and what other crap they got. Okay? Jake ain't talking about nothing. Man. Our people ain't talking about nothing in this music, man. Okay? And you can't even really call it music. It's just a bunch of sounds. All right? A bunch of program beats and spoken word. And nine times out of ten... It's going to be about drug dealing, drug selling, drug use, adultery, robbing, uh, murder. You got to ain't leave murder, murder, you know, uh, and with whatever else is, is getting tatted up. All right. Uh, uh, and doing things that hell. A lot of lewdness, okay, as far as sexuality, because there's a high sex driven or high sex uh, pulse that's put into this music, especially with the female rappers, your Sexy Ridge, your Cardi B's, your Nicki Minaj's, etc., okay, which teach these young uh, females to be loose and promiscuous, all right, just to be the worst types of 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 people that they could possibly be okay don't aspire to be with a man and aspire to you know to be uh submissive and be in order this music has our people out of order expect you know and I, and especially the youth okay as they stated and who's in control of the music industry your cohens okay I could really stop right there. Your Cohen's, C O H E N, all right. And when you pay attention to that name, look at credits on TV shows and 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 uh uh, uh who's who's in control of who are the CEOs of these uh uh music industries. You'll see that name, okay. Because they are the ones that are in charge. And I remember the guy, uh, Lion, Lionel Cohen, if, if I'm saying his name, the guy that runs hip hop or rap or whatever the hell they want to call it. He gave an interview, I think it was with the Breakfast Club. They asked, well, why do you keep, you know, why do you keep signing people that make this kind of music and, you know, put out this type of uh, uh, content? He was like, well, shit, I got miles to feed. In other words, I don't give a, a damn about you and your people. Y'all can kill each other and go to the pen and sell each other drugs and rob and steal and whatever else. As long as I can feed my people and I'm eating, I don't give a shit about y'all and never have and never will. Now, when she sits here, this lady here in this thing, when she says, ah, oh, close allies and our friend, who? Who are you talking about? What are those people ever done for the so-called blacks? And I'm just speaking about that because that's the topic. All right. The so-called Negroes, which are the Judites. Okay. What, what have they ever done for us? All they've ever done is exploit us. That's all they've ever done. From your Patty LaBelle's to your, to your little babies. Okay, they want to get you to these all white parties and hug you from the back and the front, man. And you know, Jake will sit there and have an evil eye towards their own people, but you'll sit there and hug and and, and uh look foolish with these damn small hats, man. The scriptures say, never trust thine enemy. Okay, which we'll get that, but I want to go to matter of fact, let me do this. All right, let me do that, and let me do this also. Okay, let me cut this airplane off. Okay. Um, damn, I hope I got enough room. This is recording, 
But that's all right, because I saw that little envelope. That's okay. Whatever. Um, let me get a scripture. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 2. And uh, 30. It says, because this is the problem. The problem is, is Jake is waking up. Our people are waking up to their true identity. And that's because the preaching of the gospel is gone out, which we're going to get that too. All right. Because Israelite, Hebrew Israelites are waking up all over the earth. And the main uh, deliverance is going to be right here in America. That's why it's a threat. That's why it's a problem. Because we're realizing who we are. Okay. And it's not just the so-called blacks. It's the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, Hispanics, okay? The, uh, the, the, the people of Jamaica, all right? <laughs> all throughout the Caribbean, South America, okay? Guatemala, Panamanians, all right? <clears throat> Haitians, all right? And you got a lot of celebrities, okay, <laughs> that are, are, are exposing that uh sim that one simple truth okay you got your kendrick lamars you got your kodak blacks mm. all right who also have stated that they know that they're hebrew israelites your uh and it's a lot of them it's a lot of them especially rappers from new york like the wu-tang they know that they know about the hebrew israelites hell killer priest was in the wu-tang mm. okay he had a whole album dedicated to who we are. All right. <sniffs> Amongst others. Okay. <sniffs> so the problem is, is that we're waking up, that our people are waking up to their true identity. Because once the elect is all woke up, we getting the hell out of here. And it's safe to say they done been woke up, man, because the gospel done went out. All right. And... and <laughs> You know, me speaking as a man, all right, I think they all woke and they just getting built up right now, you know. But let me bring out this Baruch too, all right. It says, for I knew that they would not hear me. Who is they? The Israelites. And it's going to say why. Because it is a stiff-necked people, okay. The, the Heavenly Father calls us stiff-necked over and over and over again. The scriptures also say... Had this been told to any other, roughly paraphrasing, had this truth been told to another nation, they would gladly embrace it. Okay? Just like the, the fake 12 tribes charts where they got, uh, I think Ephraim is Denmark and people in Canada and this, they, you know, all this really Europeans trying to claim, but... Uh, the hell was I saying? Ah, shit. I lost my train of thought, but that's all right, too. Shit. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was saying. Like, you tell these, the, these other nations, they've seen the fake chart, and they embraced it. Oh, well, I'm from the tribe of Ephraim. I'm from the tribe of Naphtali. Okay? And they know y'all ain't. All right? bunch of that damn heathens trying to uh claim our heritage and it ain't gonna work all right and the cat the proverbial cat is out of the bag man it's too late okay let me read this baruch 2 and 30 all right it says for i knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people all right ezekiel that i can ezekiel the second chapter Stiff hearted, uh, stiff neck, hard hearted people, man. All right, okay. It says, Because it is a stiff neck people, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves, and that's what's happening, man. Our people are starting to real. Oh, wait a minute, that's us. Wait a minute, we did, and the word. Hey, what's the best what's what's the best uh form of advertisement? Word of mouth. And the word is getting passed around. And it's all over social media. Okay. 
even my parents who was in their 70s know about the Israelites. Well, you know, <laughs> basically because of me, but even after that, they've heard it, you know, uh, from other uh, venues, other, other, other ways that they've heard about it. Okay. I got cousins, hundreds of cousins, like my mother's family. She has 10 children. We got the smallest family with four children. The rest of them average seven to 10 children apiece, you know? So I got hundreds of, of cousins, first and second cousins, two and 300 of them, you know? And they all know me because I'm my grandmother's, my mother's favorite. I'm just giving a little backdrop. They all know me and they know what I do. So they know what I'm out there, you know, through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Bashimi Awashah. Absolutely, of course. You know, not nothing I'm doing on my own, but just to say, they know I'm out there preaching. They know what I'm preaching about. For the most part, they know that I'm out there with the rest of the brothers talking about the Hebrew, bringing out the scriptures about the Hebrew Israelites. That's who we are. Okay. They all know. Okay. And um, like I said, the word is gone out. All right. Let me read a little more in this Baruch. It says, uh, Baruch 2 and 31, and shall know that I am the Lord, their God. So the heavenly father is our power. All right. It says, for I will give them in heart and ears to hear, meaning a heart, your heart is your mind. Okay. It goes back to the Hebrew word la. All right. That's your mind, not the heart that's in your chest, but the heart, your heart, your mind. OK, like when somebody says, oh, he had a change of heart. Do that mean we got a heart transplant? No, it just means he changed his mind. <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's so crazy. Now you got to explain stuff like that because this generation has been so dumbed down, man. Even though, oh, what's his face? Uh, Lupe, Lupe Fiasco had a song called Dumb It Down. Who's the one that's making them dumb it down? The small hats. Just what this woman was talking about. Okay? Now, nah, let's get that never trust thine enemy. All right? Never. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus or the book of Sirach, which is in the Apocrypha. It says, never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Okay? So, the reason I brought that out, because like she said in the video, our allies and our friends. No, those are our enemies. And they've always been, and they've always shown themselves to be. Thus, okay? They know it, man. All right? They're not for us and never have been for us, okay? <laughs> they are the biggest uh, criminals when it comes to identity theft, okay? <clears throat> you know, you got that, that app, LifeLock, to keep people from stealing your identity, okay? That's them. They the identity thieves, <clears throat> All right, Satan boy, I'm telling you Satan is in the, Satan is in the air. Shit, cause I wouldn't even I haven't sneezed and been none of this shit all night long. <clears throat> as soon as I got into this lesson, that's what happened. But that's all right. That monk ain't gonna stop this show, Lord willing. Okay. Um, let me get another scripture. Okay. And hey, man, we at the end, okay? So all of this stuff, all everything is coming out. Everything is coming to the surface, man. All right? Now, let me bring this out. Uh, this is St. Matthew chapter 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. This is definitely taking place. The love of many has is wax cold, man. Okay? Ain't no love. All right? Like the song say, ain't no love in the heart of the city. All right? 
Ain't no love in this earth, man. Okay? Ain't no love, man. Okay? And true love, love is the keeping of the commandments. All right? That's what love is. All right? St. Matthew 24 and 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And that's the, the ones of the elect. Okay? It says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. Okay? And it has gone out through all nations via the internet. Okay? Via the internet. As we see. Okay? That's why the guy, uh, David, I believe it was David Rockefeller, made the statement. Something long enough uh, lines of, we shouldn't have never uh, put this internet thing out there for the common man. You know, basically, you know, they should have just kept that shit within the government and shit like that. Because the internet is what did all of the heavy lifting, the unicorn horn, man. Okay. And put this word, word out. Because what is it called? The World Wide Web. WWW. Okay. So this word is going out throughout all, all over the earth. Matter of fact, the apostles was out speaking Saturday. And it was a brother from, uh, was it India? India or Indonesia? Oh, shit. But it was some, it was a foreign country where, you know, the stigma is, ain't no black people out there. You know, or ain't no Israelites out there, so, you know, just talking like Jake, you know, or, you know, how could our people be out there? It was India. It sure was India. Yeah, it was a, a, a brother in India. Okay. Check that out. All right. St. Matthew 24 and 14 again, it says, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. For a witness unto all nations. And we're scattered throughout all nations, man. Okay? That book of, the, all the time. The book of James chapter 1 and 1. To the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Okay? I always quote that scripture. St. Jam, James 1 and 1. We're scattered, man. Okay? As hard as it may be to, to believe for some of our people, you know... Oh, that, that. We ain't way over there. We ain't way. Because you, you came up in Esau's so-called education system and they ain't taught you shit. Okay? And here it is. We got all this information at our fingertips and our people still won't research, man. Okay? And one part of it is they so busy trying to make it from check to check because they all hell, they, they getting hell put on them. Then, when they do have leisure time, what are they uh, using it for? Entertainment. Fun, fun, fun. That's why anything come around. Jake celebrate the 4th of July. Unfreaking believable. Unfreaking believable. <laughs> but a sit and cry and march. No, no, just no peace. But a pop fireworks on the fourth. Now I'm gonna say this too, because I'm speaking about so-called holidays. They ain't, they ain't shit. A lot of Jake is gonna lay it down on Halloween, man. I just feel that this that this so this 31st of October, there's a lot of Jake gonna lay it down, man. It's just something the spirit got on me to say. All right. Let me finish St. Matthew 24 and 14. It says, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. See, this word going out and our people waking up is the biggest threat to the elites, man. Okay. This is the biggest threat. This is the biggest terror to the ones that are running the earth, man. The ones that are in power, the elites, this is their biggest threat. But guess what? There's nothing you can do about it. 
We just read it in the scriptures. Then shall the end come. That's why it's all that's why we at the end. Okay. Because the gospel is gone out, man. And our people are waking up all over the place. And that's why these small hats are sitting there. The biggest threat. Yeah. And see the thing with it too. Like the apostles were going into. I believe they brought out Isaiah 48 and 1. Okay. Judah is the head tribe. The so-called Negroes. You see. And the rest of the tribes followed what Judah do. Now something as simple as, as you know. <laughs> rapping. Okay. And who do you predominantly see, you know, rapping in hip hop? So called blacks. You know, and the other tribes do it too, like Ephraim, the so called Puerto Ricans. You know, they get in there, you know. But that's the that's the head tribe of the of the northern kingdom. Okay, the head tribe of the southern kingdom, which the southern kingdom consists of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, all right? Judah is the head, all right? But Judah is the head tribe over all, okay? And the rest of the tribes follow, follow what Judah do, man, okay? So <clears throat> this is the threat. This is the threat, man. And with that, Lord willing, this was edifying. I'm going to close. It's on to the next one. We about to get the hell out of hell, man. Okay? We about to get the hell out of hell. All right? So those that endure to the end, they going to make it, man. The elect. With that, I pray that edification went out. And it's on to the next one. Until now, I say Shalom.